you need to understand California is a black queen, and that's who I am. I will. I don't have a problem. She laughing is funny, but she need to understand and respect the queen when she see one in her face. Bow down, bitch, because your eyes is recessive. We talk about the queen mindset that a lot of men are just so turned off by at this point in the dating realm. The queen mindset, that entitled queen mindset. So I'm going to show you a clip here that although it's not specifically related to dating, you're going to hear this exact same queen mindset and in your mind just relate it to how this would be going on a date with this woman. Also relate this to to how it would be if you were out in public with a woman with this type of queen mindset and how annoying that would be anywhere you go, not knowing when she might explode. So without further ado, the mindset of 2020 queen level feminists. Here you go. So, you have white privilege and it's not here, it's over with. It's 2020. Yes, it is. Wake right up, now. you got a mask on. Yes, I do. So, you're so under you're the government, too. To too. You're confined and you don't have white privilege anymore. I'm a queen, <laughs> California. Mm-hmm. She was from a black queen. Okay, well, I need you to. You don't talk because you so on. privileged that you got to get in somebody else and tell them you're not listening. I don't have to listen to you. Then go to the bathroom. You don't, go to, you don't run annoying. me. You go to the bathroom. You shut up and stay in your lane. Okay. You have nothing to do with this little girl. I'm not talking to you. Okay. Listen to your mama. I don't care. She should have told I know you don't care. You so grown. Ma'am, I need to get to my door Okay, thank you. And I need to get to the bathroom. Like I said, y'all don't run people. You don't run America, you run yourself. So get off your little mentality that you better than somebody because you're not. Thank you. Yeah, huh. That's what I say. See this little shit right here? This all little mentality. But you need to understand, you don't run America no more. Everyone seated at this so, time. That should all Take your seat now. You don't run me. And guess what? When I was 14, they said, oh, you people are so the same. I was like, the shit out that white bitch. When she told me that all y'all white people are so the same. And that's how I got off that. Yikes. Okay, there's a part two to this. But that's just... <laughs> that's just... 2020, man. There's some some wildness, some craziness. And actually, again, translate what she's saying here. This is this is like what it's like for men going on a date with a woman that believes in the whole feminist ideology. She believes in the wage gap. She believes in everything she does, she's oppressed, right? So that is exactly what it's like for a man to go on a date with one of these types of women that will say stuff like, well, you know what? You don't understand because you're just a man. You don't understand. You have male privilege. You have all this privilege, blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, what can you do? There is zero reasoning with somebody like this. So guys, if any woman says she has a queen mindset, run away, run for the hills. Run as fast as you can. All right, here's part two of that. I'm tired of it. She gonna get it. They think I got so much white privilege to tell people what to do, but she need to understand California is a black queen. And that's who I am. I will. I don't have a problem. She laughing is funny, but she need to understand and respect the queen when she see one in her face. Bow down, bitch, because your eyes is recessive. <laughs> I got the dominant gene. I took all. I got A plus and all of it. That's right. All right, now check this out. This is probably my favorite part. Understand and respect the queen when she see one in her face. Bow down, bitch. <laughs> okay, you guys, right? That mentality. You guys see it. If you're out in the dating market as a man, you've seen this type of mentality. Bow down. Bow down to the queen here. You're lucky. You're lucky to go on a date with me. Oh, man, you're so lucky to be around me and my queen mindset. This is the attitude. 
and it's funny. But she need to understand and respect a queen when she see one in her face. Bow down, bitch, because your eyes is recessive. <laughs> I got the dominant gene. I took all. I got a plus. Alpha female right there. Alpha female. I don't know, guys. Is there a single man in this uh, world? Is there a single man in this world that actually finds an alpha alpha female attractive? Is there anyone in this world that finds that? So, guys, what do you think about this? Have you ran into one of these queen mindsets type of women? And if you have, what was the experience like? You know the mindset where, like, just there, she doesn't care about anyone else on that airplane. She's a queen, and you better bow down to her. That is, in a sense, I hope you guys can see that connection I'm making. In a sense, that is how a lot of the dating market is right now for a lot of women because they've been spoiled for choice with all of the different just penises getting thrown at them left, right, everywhere they go. They got simps all up in their DMs and all that stuff. So they got this in, entitled queen level mindset. Hey, you're lucky. You're lucky to go on a date with me. I'm a queen. Yuck. Garbage, garbage, garbage. And is a side note, guys, just be ready. Be aware that, at least here in America, the next couple months before this 2020 election, there is going to be so much propaganda pushed out on the mainstream. They are going to try to start division. They're going to try to start a race war, a civil war. Don't fall for it, guys. Don't fall for it. They are going to try to enrage different races against each other. Just going to try to create whatever anarchy they can. So don't fall for it. If somebody's good to you, be good to them. If they're a douchebag to you, then fine. Be a total douchebag back. You know, I don't think it needs to be said at this point. Judge someone by their character. I don't think that needs to be said, but... Just be careful, guys. They are going to try to start a race war. I'm not kidding about that. So don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, share the video, but definitely subscribe.